isotopes versus isobars. In our today's video, we are going to learn the difference between isotopes and isobars. What are isotopes? Isotopes are defined as the elements that have the same atomic number but different mass number. Here, we are talking about an element. As we know that all elements have atoms in it, all the atoms have same mass number and same atomic number. Isotopes are the one that shows an exception. In this case, what happens if we have an element, elements have a lot of atoms in it, but all the atoms have same mass number, atomic number. But somehow what happened that some of the atoms, let me repeat again, some of the atoms that belongs to element have different mass number. When they have a different mass number, then as a result, we got isotopes. So what are isotopes when some atoms of element have different mass number, but same atomic number? Now, what are isobars? Isobars are atoms with the same atomic mass number, but they have a different atomic number. In the case of isobars, we are not considering one element here. No, we are considering many elements here. Somehow what happened, different elements in the periodic table have same mass number, but their atomic number is different. When the mass number is same, but atomic number is different, this is what isobars are. We have atomic number. Isotopes have the same atomic number. The atomic number is same because atoms belong to the same one element. On the other hand, if we talk about isobars, what happens in isobar? Isobars are the one that have different atomic numbers. Now, why they have different atomic numbers? Because they are the one that belongs to different elements, atomic mass. Now, in isotopes, the atomic mass is different. On the other hand, we have isobars. Isobars are the one who have the same atomic mass. Moreover, here, what is the meaning of atomic mass? Atomic mass is combination of number of protons plus number of neutrons in the nucleus. And on the other hand, what is atomic number? Atomic number is just number of protons present in an atom. Having said that, we have place in the periodic table. As I told you earlier, that isotopes are the atoms that belong to the one element, that belong to the same element. Isotopes occur in the same place in the periodic table. On the other hand, we have isobars. Isobars do not occur at the same place in the periodic table because in isobars, we have different elements under discussion. When there are different elements, so it's very obvious, it's very clear that all of them belongs to different places in the periodic table, physical properties. The physical properties of isotopes are different. Now, why physical properties of isotopes are different? Because isotopes are the one who have different mass number. And once, if we have different mass number, it means that density, boiling point, melting point, freezing point, all of them are different from one another. On the other hand, if we talk about isobars, isobars are the one who have mostly the same physical property. Now this time, why isobars have the same physical properties? Isobars have the same physical properties because they have the same mass number. So their freezing point, melting point, density, boiling point, all these properties are same. Then we have chemical properties. If we talk about isotopes, the chemical properties of isotopes do not differ much as the number of protons are the same. So here, because the atomic number is same, if the number of protons are same, it means the number of electrons are also same because we know in an atom, number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. So when we have same number of electrons, then there is no change in the number of shells. There is no change in electronic configuration. So at the end, we have no change in the chemical properties. Say, for example, shielding effect, electron negativity, atomic radius. Having said that, isobars have totally different chemical properties because we know isobars are the one who belongs to different elements, number of protons. 
isotopes are the one who have the same number of protons because they have the same atomic number. On the other hand, we have isobars. Isobars are the one who have different number of protons because as we discussed earlier, these are the one that belongs to different elements. Different elements means different number of protons, different atomic number. Then we have the number of neutrons in the nucleus of the atom for isotopes is different. For two isobars, the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons are equal because their mass number is same, no matter what. Are the differences between isotopes and isomers? Both are very important in chemistry. In industries, isotopes are used to measure the thickness of metals or plastic maybe. Nuclear reactors can use uranium isobars. IODs isobars are used in goiter treatment. So both of them have their separate importance. Both of them have separate uses and applications in different fields of chemistry. Having said that, at the end, we have some examples for isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, carbon-14, are the three isotopes of the element of carbon and they have different mass number respectively, but they have the same atomic number that is six. Then we have examples of isobars, argon, sulfur, calcium, chlorine, potassium. They all have the same mass number, which is 40. When all of them have the same mass number, but of course the atomic number is different, these are isobars. So yes, this is all about our today's lecture. If you want more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.